welcome back everybody. I know it's been a very long time getting back here. Uh, I haven't had a video really posted up that I've edited in quite some time. Um, I've recently moved to Pittsburgh to start some new schooling and after 21 months, assuming I get all my certifications, I'll be moving to Florida. So I'm kind of still getting stuff set up here in the new house in Pittsburgh, but I wanted to give you guys this video as a way to kind of fill the gap and let you guys know that I'm not completely gone. So what we're going to do today, and hopefully I'll have this done by tonight, I hope, is we're going to change out the old ABL Probe uh, version 2 on my Monster AM8 here that you guys have probably seen before, and we are going to change this out to the Easy ABL Pro. Now, I decided to stick with the 18mm probe on this one, since my custom design carriage here already has an 18mm spot, and I didn't want to have to go down to something smaller. Uh, and add extra pieces and all that other stuff. I just decided to go with 18. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of stripping down on this machine. There is so much custom wiring and nylon lube to it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of work that goes into this and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys most of what it takes just to do something simple for me, like swap out the probe. So let's take a dive into this thing and see just how bad this is gonna be. guys and for this last part I want to make a couple notes here. Um, there is one really cool trick for getting the height of the bottom of the probe in relation to the bottom of the nozzle. I'll show you that in a second. But the other thing is that this is really important and Tim had pointed this out before but I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this before going any further. Uh, one is to make sure that your adjustment screw is always visible so you need to be able to see that. Don't put it in the back. You'll never be able to reach it and adjust it. But what you want is you want extra slack in this line right here. Now I've already got this preset. I'll show you. Notice how I have some slack here so that even if this moves, which it will do when it goes back and forth, it doesn't put stress over here and break the cable. You need to have a little bit of slack in here. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but there should be some. Now here's the really cool trick. You're always looking for about two to three millimeters or so from the bottom of the probe to the bottom of the nozzle. Here's the trick. Let, put your nozzle all the way down until it's touching the bed. You can do this until you see the light disappear under the nozzle. The next great thing is take one of these guys. Take a micro SD to SD adapter and simply slip it underneath your probe like that. Believe it or not, that is almost exactly two millimeters. It's about 2.1, but it's close enough. So if you want to get within roughly two millimeters, have a little bit of distance in between, but still be within a reasonable distance from the probe, this is how I recommend you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish tidying this thing up and we will be done. There we have it. 
have it, guys. That is completely put back together. Uh, we no longer have that ugly silver one. In fact, let me dig that out so you guys can see what the difference is here. There's the old probe next to the new probe. There wasn't a whole lot of chrome on this machine other than the rails and a little bit of the bed. And I really didn't like having this thing that just kind of looked out of place. But now it looks very slick. I am going to make a complete cover for this eventually. But for now, this will do. Um, I was unable to take what's left up here and put another heat shrink on it without completely undoing the wire set and pulling it back through the machine. I wasn't going to do that. I didn't feel like it. So I simply have electrical tape here. Um, unless it comes off, I won't put a zip tie on it. Actually, I lied. I am going to put a zip tie on that uh, because I want to keep this anchor point where it is in relation to everything. So, I mean, I normally wouldn't do this just because of how it looks. And as you can tell, this machine is all about looks. So let me go ahead and put this guy on here. There we go. And we'll clip off the extra. There we go. So that'll stay where it is. There's no stress on the wires. Every single wire has got slack on it, which is good, including the probe wire. So that is how we put everything together. Well, that's it, guys. That is how you put the Easy ABL Pro in as an upgrade from a V2. Now, obviously, that doesn't apply to your specific printer. I've done a lot of extraneous work to mine, uh, which in general makes mine quite a bit harder when upgrading things, but that's kind of the price I pay for having it look the way I wanted it to, is what it is. On another hand, guys, I will be getting back into making more videos. I just need to find the time, and this is going to sound a little awkward. I need to find more things to make videos of. It needs to be worth the time. I don't want you guys just watching crap, uh, so I do need to take my time uh, figuring out what kind of content I want to deliver to you guys. I have some things in mind. Uh, if you'd like to make suggestions, by all means, leave me a comment, and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. And with that, guys, any other questions, leave them in the comments. You know what to do, the usual. And until next time, guys, have a good one.